Welcome back to another denim video. Honestly, I think we're kind of coming to an end on this project. Be sure to comment down below anything else you think we should do to this thing. I definitely don't want to go over the top with it. I wanted to stay true to the old school thing that we were going with because this is a 96 Yukon. So you got to treat it right, go old school. And I don't want to do too much to where it gets gaudy or it doesn't fit the vibe that we were going for. But definitely comment down below if there's anything else you think we should add. But there is one place that we haven't really addressed at all. And that's going to be the rear end of this thing. I honestly didn't really mind the factory tail lights because we did go with this old school theme and they don't look that out of place to me. However, they are original from 96. So they are pretty crusty, hazed over and just, you know, 27 years of sun and weather will do that to you. The weather stripping's all cracked and hard and whatnot. And our third brake light's either got a screw missing or it's just loose, but it, it's like wiggly. We're gonna replace that as well. Now I did make a mistake because I bought tail lights for this thing like right after I got it. So they've just been sitting in the basement for a couple months now, unfortunately outside of our return window because I just unboxed them and one of them's got a freaking crack. We're gonna install them anyways because I can't return them, but I think they're gonna look freaking awesome. So let's check them out, boom. Went with the same style that I put on Chomper at first. And I, I just love these dude, the red up top and then at the reverse light, it's clear across. Kept the red for the old school kind of thing, but the little clear at the bottom, I think gives it a nice modern touch. So I'm stoked with it. They got these big capacitors or whatever they're called. Long jing. Um, so hopefully they're just gonna be a plug straight in, work perfectly. Here's the freaking crack. You can't really see it that well. It sucks, but like I said, I've had them for a couple months, so I can't return them. So we're gonna go ahead and throw them in there. Never change the tail lights on an OBS Yukon. So let's go ahead and figure it out. Fortunately for us, it looks like it's the exact same as any other truck. Got two screws, one here, one here, Phillips head. Let's go ahead and pop them loose. issue as i just took that apart we don't want to drop them down in here because they're probably going to be gone so we need to grab that with some needle nose try to oh yeah there's no way there's a screw inside the freaking fender is it oh oh they swing out <laughs> they swing out that way All right, well, I don't know where the crap we plan on putting that freaking box that's behind these things. Because you cannot get access underneath here. It's all boxed in. So you can actually fit it on the back of the tail light. So plug your regular connector in, snake it down in there, run all your wires in. And then you want to make sure this is down below here. If it's right here, there's not enough room. But if it's down here, there is. So just tuck those wires in. Hook this guy on. That. Make sure that connector is down below that. And boom. There she is. Just got to throw the screws in there. And then we'll tackle the third brake light. Sometimes the drop tools and hardware blow my mind. Just like the snap-on wrench and shorty. Y'all saw I didn't have a bottom screw. Well, look right there. Focus. There it freaking is. Who knows how long it's been riding there? Years? <laughs> Definitely as long as I've had it, and that's been months. We've been off-road and bogging and all kind of stuff. That's freaking crazy. All right, well, thankfully, it's not got a stripped or missing screw. This is just broken. So, let's go ahead and just pop her free. Hmm. Rusty. There's probably a better way of doing this, but this is the way that we're gonna do it. So starting off, cleaning this with uh, Rain-X because I can't find detail spray. But this will work, this will work guys. Trust, trust. Anything will work when you've got a 27 year old vehicle that's, you know, <laughs> a little questionable on the paint in some spots. There's a black and yellow wire on the factory one, there's a black 
and yellow wire here, if this is even factory, I don't know. Uh, so we're gonna cut them. We're just gonna cut them and put them together and it's gonna be fine. Nice and pretty. Just like she's supposed to. Line it up just like the old one. I'm not gonna poke it down hard until I verify everything lines up like it should. There's a screw hole. There's a screw hole. It looks pretty freaking good, just like that, Bo. Heck yeah. Here she is rocking the new tail lights and third brake light and I do really like them but third brake light makes me think maybe I should have gone with some smoked ones probably would look really good on this blue because it is a darker color but I also do like the red with the clear at the bottom it's a old school look but also you know a little modern touch to it either way denim looking absolutely killer I wish the lighting was a little better it's big time shady right here but the late looks freaking awesome uh, either way had a little tr national trail to come down. We'll see if we can make up it two wheel. If not, we can always lock her in. But yeah, dude, back, let's back up here real quick. Bag on booty shot, that go. Ah, oh, the freaking thorn birds are insane. I haven't even tested to see if our third brake light works. I don't even remember if it worked before. I'd have to look back at some footage. I have a feeling, why, I wanna say that I saw a comment saying that it wasn't working. Maybe it wasn't working before, hopefully it is now. Either way, I did test the blinkers. We do not have hyper flash, thank goodness. Dude, that right there, holy crap. That freaking reflection. That looks absolutely insane, dude. Damn, that gun, treat me right. So, yeah, I don't know what else to do, man. I mean, what is there the sides i mean we could do color matching and stuff on them we could get the hood painted but i don't even know i don't know i guess that's one thing we could get the hood painted maybe because this isn't textured plastic well it's kind of chewed up maybe we can get a replacement i don't freaking know i was thinking maybe get a replacement one of these that is this kind of texture because this kind of texture i feel like is paintable rather than modern plastics that have like all the dimples that are not unless you sand them or just paint over it and it doesn't stick I don't know, we could do some color matching on here. I don't really know if I wanna go down that route on this thing. It honestly is pretty much perfect to me. Ain't gonna lie, she's pretty much perfect. I'm just kinda of walking around thinking. The outside just, it's, it's pretty dialed to me. And the inside as well, the seat covers, the new radio, the sub. I mean, what else? What freaking else? I don't know, I don't know. Y'all let me know, but that's going to be about it. I don't want to keep rambling, and I want to ball going up this hill and see what denim could do. So, yeah. Drop a comment down below. Let me know. Leave a like if you did enjoy. Subscribe if you're new. Hit that bell notification. And let's see if we can make it up this hill into two-wheel drive.